When narcissists try to break you and control you, they'll target one if not all of these things. A narcissist will try to break you down by attacking your relationships, your sense of self-worth and your confidence. Thank you for watching this week's video in which we'll talk about the tricks and methods that narcissists use to get what they want. In today's movie, I'll talk about three ways narcissists try to hurt us. Narcissists come into our lives to take everything away from us, and they won't think twice about destroying anything that gets in their way. To control and conquer their victims, they use the power of love and light. They are always looking for food. They will do anything to get money, power, and influence because they are so hungry for them. They pretend to be heroes or victims to get our trust, and then they slowly turn on us to keep our trust. The only thing they want is for us to stay scared and obedient. They won't give up until we give in. Narcissists always want to be at the top of the social ladder, even when they're with their best friends. As a result, narcissists try to be seen or respected in a way that makes them different from other people. Whether they are in a family, at work, or with friends, they look around the group to see who has the most power, and then they make it a point to talk to and get to know those people. You can expect them to try to copy your best qualities and act like their values match yours while they're dating you. The narcissist really doesn't want to be on the same level as you in any setting. Their main goal would be to steal or replace the person in question's power, position, identity or influence. As I said in the last movie, narcissists go after both strong and weak people. This is about people who have never been in a relationship with a narcissist and don't know what it's like, unlike those of us who have. Another way to say this is that the narcissist looks at everyone. After getting in, their goal will be the same as it was before. Their plans to hurt you will begin to form. These people will attack you and do everything they can to get rid of you. One thing is certain, these things will happen. They could happen in any order, or even all at once. These are things that the ego will try to do to get as much power as possible. One of the first things a narcissist will look for when they attack you is who you know. A self-centered narcissist will always be interested in everyone, even family and friends. They will make a case against anyone close to you and hurt their reputation to make it look like you can trust them. Planting seeds of doubt in people who they think are too close to you will be an attempt to cut you off from other people. This person wants you to either turn away from them or them to turn away from you. When a narcissist takes advantage of you, you can't get help from anyone else because they want to be the only one who can see you. The second thing the narcissist did us to hurt you is take away your sense of self-worth. They would judge everything you did with a lot more harshness. It's always surprising how quickly a narcissist can go from making you feel good about yourself to putting you down after doing the opposite. Because they are very good at what they do and can do it. Because of this, when they quickly change their behaviour and do the opposite, you might think that the things they say about you are true. Not only would they judge what you said, but also what you did and how you looked. In the end, this makes you think about what is real. They will make you believe things that aren't true to make you question your mind and skills. They'll stare at you in a way that is rude or hurtful. If they get the chance, they won't have any trouble getting angry or upset with you. In fact, they will do everything they can to bring you down instead of up. They're not going to pay attention to what you say. Over time, they'll do this to you little by little, making you doubt your worth, beauty and cleverness. The narcissist will never go after your mental health first. They've been critical of you from the start for putting you down, breaking up relationships, making people treat you differently and gaslighting you. Their attention has been on this. These things are hard on the body and the mind. 
Another thing is that the narcissist makes the environment between you two toxic and nasty. Because the narcissist can be nice one day and angry, sad and quiet the next. They might forget about you, stop talking to you or even ghost you. Their change of heart seemed to have no rhyme or reason. They went from being an angel to a devil overnight. They go from being happy to being sad. Feeling mentally and physically drained while trying not to upset the narcissist and not getting into a fight with them can be hard. People who are narcissists have no idea how their behaviours affect other people. But they also try to make our minds work hard on purpose. Stress can make it hard to think straight. Stress can change the way your body works. Stress can make it harder to think clearly and make good choices, which makes you more likely to be mislead. But all of this is part of the narcissist's plan to make you weak and under their control. It's a fight for your mind. That person is interested in what you think. They know that they can rule you for good if they can break your mind. Not only that, but you can't do any of this if you don't trust the narcissist. It turns out this is the very reason they worked so hard to win us over in the first place. For this reason, they work so hard to make us believe that they are the answer to our prayers, or that they are also trustworthy, honest, and good people in real life. They use a fake picture to get us to come with them, because they want to kill us once they have us. The narcissist needs your attention more than anything. They need to know how you feel. Because of this, I will never tell you to give in to them in any way. Any amount of love you give a narcissist will never be enough for them. The sacrifices that have been made for them are something they just can't understand. They'll keep spreading lies and stories about you because they don't care about anyone but themselves. If you find out you're talking to someone with a bad personality type, you should stay away from them. They shouldn't know anything about you. The person in question shouldn't be introduced to anyone important in your life, like family or close friends. You should also keep an eye on the narcissist's close family and friends. More needs to be done to protect our health and the health of those around us. I really hope this information was helpful to you. Thanks for giving it a look and, more importantly, for listening to what I have to say. Please don't be shy about sharing your ideas and stories in the area below. If you don't want to miss any of the new videos that this channel posts in the future, you might want to subscribe and make sure the bell icon is on. Thanks a lot.